We're back in business. Another mail day. How is everyone? Let's go. Oh man, this has been a while since I have got some mail. And I have been buying up so much stuff. Oh my god. Hope everyone's doing alright. I went back. <clears throat> Actually, it's been so long since I got mail. I went back and watched my other mail days. So, that's a thing. <laughs> And I was, I'm really happy. I'm happy with them. I'm happy with the way I do them. I don't really care about my rambling. I'm just really happy. And yeah. This is a good way to show people the kind of stuff I'm buying. What I think is a really good purchase. And usually I have time to reflect on my purchases because they take like a month to get here. So. I don't know. You know, just one of those things, you know, it's just... Uh, there's so much to learn, so much to earn, so much to gain. If I can make mistakes, then I can, I can probably afford to lose a little bit or not maximize my potential gains. That's not too bad, because I have a lot of things that win, so it's alright if I have a little loss here and there. So... If I can identify those and explain them to you and figure out how we got there, it'll be good. Just like with the grades, if I can show you what cards get what grade and why, then that helps you out. Whoever's watching, if you're going to grade a card, maybe like, oh, maybe I won't send that because I can't afford that. I can't afford that loss, etc. There is some fire cards coming out. I'm talking like, apps. there's so much good stuff in this. This might be like my most expensive mail day ever. So, I think after most of these purchases, I, I stopped buying things like altogether because there's, there was just like, I just ran out. I ran out of juice. And I was like, okay, I gotta stop for a while. Oh yeah. There's so much good stuff here. I cannot wait to show you. There's just... What the hell is this? Wow, that's cool. Wow. Oh my god. In the back here, juicy binder, but I can't wait. That binder was an absolute amazing steal. I mean, I'm going through like every day. And I didn't actually see this when it got listed. My friend sent it to me. So like, and I bought it so fast because it was just such a good... Good purchase. Let's just take everything out of the bubble wrap. And just get through it. Oh, okay. So as you can see here, there's some singles spread across. And we're gonna go through them one by one. I'm not gonna say what I... Oh, sorry if that's loud. I'm not gonna say what I paid for anything because... I can't remember. Like I really can't. A few things I might be able to come up with, but I don't want to. I don't want to. You know. Oh baby. Oh my god. All right. Wow. That is. I just got a sneak peek of some stuff. All right. These are those. Over here. Look at this. What do we have in store today? Gold Stars Charizard Championship Arena. Promo cards. Mega Ray. Look at these. I'm going to go through these. Okay. Everything I'm buying, I think, in this package are all like mid to long term speculation, six months to a year. Because obviously, I'm going to go through everything and then I'll chuck whatever I think is good into grading. So these are. Not too sure, actually. You know, I think they sealed. They sealed. Yeah, I think these are trainer mags, but I don't know what cards actually come in here because I'm not that smart or good at this stuff. But I think with this binder in front of us, I purchased these three trainer mags, and they all have come with cards. So 
Don't know what cards are in there, but I have a friend named Elliot. And he goes on to the Instagram Pokey Chaos. And he has some amazing stuff. And he is like so smart with everything. Pokemon, Japanese, English, what's he? Anything relevant, he knows exactly what it is. So I'm going to ask him after this, like, hey, what's in here? And he'll tell me. Let's go. Bind a time. I've been waiting a month for this. My friend Mason sent this to me. Straight off the bat. It's in a ring binder, which is not great. So probably going to be a lot of binder creases in here. But what do we got? We got... We got the Pokemon Snap Pikachu. We got a bloody grand party. Get all the Game Boy promos. All I can hope is every card is not creased. Ah, oh, that's unlucky. That's how they get you sometimes, see there? Little binder dent from sitting across on this. But, you know, it's a grand party at the end of the day. Still get it graded. Grade like a six, maybe. Pretty nice. But that's how it is sometimes. This whole binder only cost me a 100,000 yen. So, not too bad. Picked up a some Narawakes. Do they all have? Yeah. So a lot of these are going to have binder dents, and this is just how it is sometimes. I'm not going to pull every card out now, because I don't have that much time. I'll go through it later. Yeah, we got all, all the promos, the WHF ones. Wow. More not awake. Oh, that's really clean. I actually need this one for my set. So the cleaner it is, the better it'll be. Oh yeah, no binder dents. Maybe some very, very light scuffs at the top. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Got the ANA Togepi. The Fun Sparse. Shining Makuni. Oh, this is the other Night Awake, I think. Oh, that's nice. Pretty similar condition to the last one. That's really good. That's cool. I don't know why I put that one back in. Wow. Just, wow, what else we got? Oh, look at this. Ditto. Wow. Wow, these cards are like almost packed fresh. I see a little bit of print lines on them, but look at this hollow bleed. Oh, with the swirl right in the middle. Wow. Okay, this is something. This is not an ordinary card. Like, hollow bleed on Japanese is... It's not common, but like... It's rarer than English, but... Oh, the Lapras is like it too! Must have been a part of the whole box that that guy had. Oh my... God, that's beautiful. Let me see. The Muck as well! No way every fossil here is... Oh, that's so cool. I mean... Yeah, it's not rare, not some super premium, but look at that hollow bleed. Oh. But... One thing it doesn't do is devalue it, so I can see this Gengar being just immediately worth double than normal because of this. That is just breathtaking. I know. Let me get my light closer so I can really... Oh, maybe it's better over there. That's what I mean by hollow bleed. Oh, wow. See, this is, this is some things that you just literally can't... Find. Like it's just, yeah, I think the Raichu doesn't have a hollow bleed. That's cool. If there's more fossil hollows in here like that, that'd be really neat. Oh, the Aerodactyl's like that too. Yep, it's got a fossil hollow bleed. Wow. Moltres, nope. Trina Max Delix. I like him, he's cool. What's on this side? Some random stuff. Yeah, those hollow bleeds are absolutely beautiful. Just some more gym cards. Look at that swirl on the Persian. Man, Japanese cards are just destroy English. This looks like a Sabrina's deck, maybe. Just gonna breeze through these. Don't really need to show on the back. 
Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, some random English Shadowless cards. And some English Jungle cards. So weird, the stuff you get in Japan. So weird. This collection is very nicely preserved. Binder dents on the on the most expensive card does suck, but there's so much in here that it'll be fine. I'll probably split it apart, sell most of it. Oh, these are clean. These are like packed to sleeve straight into this binder. Pack fresh vending. Can't even. Jesus. Probably in better condition than the ones you can peel today because they might have long term damage. Oh, vending Articuno at the top. Beautiful. Let's check the condition on the back. Wow. A lot of these will be graded, definitely. Wow, wow, wow. What is this, like a full vending set? One to three? Looks like it. We got two Zapdos. Wow. I remember this at the back. More vending, more vending. But we got some Shadowless. That's cool. Let's, let's pull these Gyarados out. Have a look here. Yeah, it's got some wear from being an English card. But that hollow is nice. Oh wow, that's like a mint condition channel with Gyarados. Okay, who cares if the grand party's a damage the plus power. Looks like he opened up all three thing decks and then he opened up a pack or two. I mean all four theme decks, sorry. Wow, this is a mint condition. You two. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to be grading all these, sending them to CGC. I don't care, that's upside down. What's on that side? Nothing. Shadowless Ninetales, beautiful. Look at these. That is so good. Wow, that is pack fresh Shadowless. That is insane. Not bad centering either. That's just... Don't even know what to say. We got some Charmanders, Charmeleon. Nothing of note on the back. Last page. And we have some Squirtles, etc. Wow, that is so cool. Vending set. I might even just take all this vending set out and just put it in a binder. This might actually be a complete ending set. Some other noteworthy card stuff like this, definitely. If it's nice condition, I will definitely grade like any evolution or anything remotely cute. So you gotta look out for stuff like that. You gotta look out for band cards like the Sabrina's finger one. People love that stuff. Wow, look at these hollows. Just flipping through, this is crazy. All these Koro Koro promos. It's just absolutely wild. This is like Japanese history on one, one big one big binder sheet. These birds. These are mint, they're all definitely gonna be graded. Game Boy Dragon Eye, let's check him out. I can't believe those. Let's see what this guy's like. It's nice. Oh, it's got the curse of the Green Boy Dragonite, a little over yucky crease at the bottom, it's fine. I'll probably sell it raw or something. But okay. Top it all off. This awesome 2000 era Binder. That's cool. Pokemon card game official collection file. Put this to the side. Take all those out later on. Let's just let me let me recap. Nice, yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's wild. Like near mint to mint, at least on all these shadowless hollows. 
very nice condition. Five of them. I can't get over these these hollow bleeds. They're just the camera barely picks them up. They're just like insane in real life. The last two not away because I need and a grand party, which is like a decently rare. It's just like a promo card, really. It's not really like a anything special. And this I found randomly loose in the packaging. That's cool. Let's get on to some modern stuff that I uh, cards that I really like and cards that I love. There's a general theme I go with because. I don't like the idea of buying into something that doesn't have demand, so I just stick to a few core, core things. A pretty easy one is Charizards, I think. You're not looking at really going wrong buying a Charizard, especially in mint condition. Over time, there's always going to be less as more Charizard collectors come. Charizard, shiny Pokemon is a big one, especially shiny Gen 1, 2, even 3. A lot of Gen 3 Pokemon have a lot of love. This is a peak Gen 1. Absolute sanity. How good this card is. It's just crazy. Shiny Voltorb is one of the best looking ones. So, I don't know. Shiny Pokemon, Charizards. This is the CD promo reprint Charizard. So, it's not too bad. Very good card. Not going to take them out of top loaders. Don't want to. Cause any damage, but they look pretty mint. So, it's uh, the 280 XYP. I definitely think pick up one because that's one I've noticed. It's a card that's slowly creeping up, still around the 200 300 mark, which I think is like crazy considering the artwork and the release. And there's really not that many of them. But oh, oh one second. Oh my shinings, it's shining Pokemon. But these are all from Shining Legends Japanese. Box is almost a thousand. But you can still buy Shinings, $20, $30, $40 each. You get like maybe like two, three Shinings in a box. Like, come on. Just amazing, these Shinings. Just so good. I mean, buy them graded, buy them raw mint. You can't go wrong. You'll be very happy. The demand for Shiny Pokemon or Shining Pokemon just is crazy. Shining Ray. Well, Kenyon, I don't really think this is a good one, but I bought like 10 and I'll just grade like the best three over time and I'll grade the rest eventually. Okay, sorry about that. I had to turn off my phone for a second because it uh, ran out of storage space, so I deleted all my other videos. Recording in 4K really, really drains the battery. It's kind of nuts. But full art trainers, alternate art trainers, especially if you can get Gen 1 Pokemon. Look, this is a really popular modern Pokemon with a really popular Gen 1 Pokemon, full art, I mean, Gen 1 trainer. Probably one of the best full arts ever made, like just artwork based. And you can see that's all embossed through there. It's not really like a, it's a very tasteful trainer. It's not like one of those ones where it's just like showing heaps of skin. So I was just like, wow, that is just... I can buy this for that much, so at the time, I don't know how much it was, maybe $30 each, but yeah, they're just, that has to be one of my favorites, it's just, not one of my favorite characters, but just like artwork, just up there. Yeah, these shiny Pokemon designs, they just slap with the, everything, it's just, oh, I just love them. Alright, we got some Mega Rays, Rayquaza is very, very, very popular, he hits like many different things. If you guys can find these, they're pretty cool. It's a Pikachu 276 promo pack. And I'm not going to open any up right now. But inside, you get an Articuno Zapdos Moltres promo. I think they were like a 7-Eleven on release or something like that. So. These are things that I've been buying and selling for a very long time. All these cards in here. CP6 Charizard. I'll scream it. Forever the box price and the Charizard price don't make sense, so I'll just keep buying them. Any Poncho Pikachu at any price, always. If you can find them mint, I think you'll be very happy. Just buy them raw and just put them away, or buy them raw and grade them. 
I think right now grading times are so long that it's like you really got to go in for at least like a year plus time frame if you want to do this. You can like send standard and or $75 tiers, but that'll cut into your margins because a lot of the times you'll grade cards like this and you want to sell them, you get them back, you like the grade and you want to keep them and then you've just baked all this grading cost in. This is just crate that it should be illegal that they make cards like these. Now these are expensive, but I just had to have some. I had to have two for myself. I'm gonna get one for me, one for my girlfriend. So that'll be great. Sabrina, another great Gen 1 Pokemon. Pikachu, Zekrom, Legendary. Yeah, there's, there's a general theme with a lot of the stuff I buy and just eventually try to resell. But yeah, these Pikachus, they are so amazing. But I'm a big Pikachu fan, so like, Worst comes to worst, and this all goes to shit, and I just have all these Pikachus that I can enjoy, then, oh well, who cares. This one's really cool. I like this. It's like super gold, super textured. And I think if you're like stuck in the olden ways of collecting old cards, and you can't buy something like this and just like appreciate it, then I don't know if you can really be a... Uh, you shouldn't be watching these videos, really. This... Come on. Nothing wrong with an old card, but like, come on, come on people, what is it? Look at these, who illustrates these? Five men, literal gods of illustrations. This is nice too, you know, but this is just, hits different. We got more of these, oh, look at this. This is a reader, I mean, he does well. He does very well, look, the texture, look at when you shine the light, the light comes down like that. It's literally like it's shining down on him. It's crazy. It is crazy. What else is in here? We should have a lot of gold stars in here. So. I bought a lot of these Pikachus. Damn. Pikachu, Pikachu, Pikachu. Pikachu. I'll probably just keep a lot of these in the top loaders because I have a lot out grading right now and I just, I don't know, it gets to be too much sometimes and you got like five, six thousand cards submitted. I kind of want to take a break towards the end of the year so I really need to look towards not grading cards. If you're just getting in this, don't stop. The best way to keep going is you just got to keep to double down in constantly because it's just, it doesn't, it's crazy. I mean, okay, these are good. These were 55,000 yen each. Wow, that's nice. What is wrong with this? I bought these as an... Excellent plus condition. Just had a one photo of the front and they were like, it's excellent plus. This is excellent plus, then I am... Don't know. Might be something in the bottom corner there, like a little press, but I don't care. I don't care if the surface gets a one. If I'm looking at it and it's like this. Okay. Okay. Let's look at these two. I was expecting a little bit of edge wear here and there. There's a little press in the bottom. Wow, see, this isn't stuff that I'm buying to flip. This is stuff that I've used the money from flipping and I'm adding my collect adding to my collection. It's not a good idea long term for money gain, but I just really don't care at this point. I just you owe it. Like, if you're in the hobby and you're using it to make money and you're buying and selling, buy some stuff for yourself. Because eventually you'll get the bug. And eventually you'll want to collect. And you'll be sad that you bought some good stuff and you really liked it. And then you sold it. So, that's happened to me way too many times. I bought these 50,000 yen each. Yeah, it's a bit. But I'm happy. Happy as I can be. Now, this had a... I think this had a, a PSA 9 auction for this card. Went for three thousand dollars or something, and I had I saw this. It was listed for thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred. So I was like, 
You know what? Screw it. So what else have a look here? It's nothing. It's clean. Shine the light to see if there's any hidden creases. I usually just go one up, one down, and around. Check the front. Wow, these really are nice. I should have bought one of these earlier. Oh well. It's just how it is. Put you back in your home. For now. That's cool. Alright, I'll put you guys aside. This big stack of cards. I mean, I spent so much on this. Stuff's not free these days. Modern chase cards don't just come easy. To you. you can't just buy like the best card in the set for twenty dollars anymore. People have caught on. A lot of people appreciate them. And this is just crazy. Shiny Houndoom, and it's all gold. Come on! Oh my god! Here we go. Alternate art Charizard. Look at the texture on this card. I'm gonna. I will show the flare, and I'll show the flare. Don't worry. But I really wanted to get one of these for my collection, and one of them to grade and sell. So I bought two. I'll grade them. I'll probably keep the lowest grade, unless I get like a 10, I'll probably keep that one. But look at this. Texture. I wish this was Charizard and Delphox, but Charizard and Brixen is not too bad. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking right now. Because this might not show like I have a lot of motion, but man, this is crazy. A lot of these cards have been waiting. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. This is unlimited World Championship pack. These are very hard to find in good condition because of the way they're textured with like this full foil star pattern. I have the Vaporeon on this already. I graded it in the 9, and I eventually will grade this Fairly Arion, but that can go to a side. This is awesome. Okay, what else do we got here? We got some Charizards, some older Charizards. I don't get as much love. We got oh, some more Charizard Bs. Put them in here. We can go there. What else we got? Oh, some shiny Snorlax gold. Old Charizards. Wow, it's a nice swirl. Check the condition on these. Yep. A little bit edge way down the bottom, but that's fine. Love these old Charizards. I think over time they'll get more and more love. I didn't buy... I'm not going to buy modern full arts out of the gate anymore because the price is just too high. So I'm going to wait a month or two every single time. Ooh, signed Marnie. Love this one. This is really good artwork. Really, really good. This is really good. I mean, the artwork is just stunning. Typhlosion metal, so good. $70, come on. Oh, another Lily full art for alligator metal. Oh, it's nice condition. This is such a good card, and this is a good card. Do I have both? I have both now. Look at the shine. You don't get that on English, people. It's just the same. Wow. These are so good condition. I'm so happy. Jesus Christ. Oh. Looks like I bought some stuff and all this. I think this might be from that binder. Oh. Fan Club Porygon. I bought this. The picture was just random. So. It wasn't really like. It was like a pretty bad stock photo. Just getting some sleeves. Let me sleep this one, have a look at it. <clears throat> I bought this, I think. I think I might have overpaid a little bit for a raw copy. But... Oh, that's pretty good. That's nice. A little bit of dust on the front. I can maybe wipe that off. But... Look at the back. I just want to handle this as least as possible. Yeah, I bought this site unseen and that's that's the really the risk you take. Even if it's like an 8 grade or an 8.5, even, I don't really care. It's really cool. I graded a, I mean, I traded someone for an 
8.5 fan club EB. So that'll be here soon. Yeah, wipe that stuff off the front right off. Look at that, look at that hollow. So cool. And a fresh sleeve. That's awesome. He had other stuff, but I couldn't get to him in time. All his stuff just sold instantly. There was like Shining Charizards. There was like every Shining. I managed to pick up the Shining Kabutops. Damn. 30,000 yen for this. Oh, that is clean. I'm not going to take it out of the sleeve. It's in a hard sleeve. It's going to take a while. I might have to cut it out. That's so clean. That is nice. Gold Star Pikachu. These are always pretty worn, so you really don't get that much choice with Gold Star Pikachu. You always just get like a pretty uh, rough, average condition one because of how they were give, like how they were released. So this one's not too bad. And a bit of edge wear on the side because they're just like thrown in this little lunch box, this little gift tin box, and they just like moved around. But yeah, this is pretty good. I'm very happy with this. I will buy every single one of those at like 10,000 yen each because it's a Pikachu and it's a Shiny and it's a Gold Star and cool Masaki Champ. Oop. Ah, oh, I think this was $30. A bit of damage on this is a lot worse than I thought it was going to be. I think there was no back picture, but I think I got some no rarity hollows in this from the same guy. What do we got? We got Gold Star Chars. It's a big mail day, like I said before. This is probably my biggest ever. Probably will be my biggest ever. I can't imagine spending that much. But I'm going for the Gold Star set and Unlimited. And first edition. And I'm picking up like any copy I can get. So this one's a bit rough. But I think this was like $88. And uh, that's just that price is just too good to pass up. This is like a really rough. Looks like someone's like tried to color in all the borders as well. But this was another very low priced one. Tick off the list. I think I have this already. But this one was also really cheap. I think from the same guy. Jesus, they've just like layered this in tape. <laughs> this is never going to come out of this top loader. This is a buy that probably wasn't a good one. I remember this. This cost 30,000 yen. So that's like $300 probably wasn't wise because it's pretty rough but uh, the rarity is not easy to find and I have to, I, I you have to sacrifice it at some point so I sacrificed a little bit of the front condition and this has creases in it apparently that weren't on the listing so that sucks but this here I was like look does that really upset me just a Pretty much like a gouge, really. I can choose to either have that, a Noma Champ, and like these sell in near mint condition for like 500, 600 down, like 500, 600 dollars all day. So I'll get this as a placeholder. Eventually, I'll pick up a nice condition, and a rarity Noma Champ, but for now, I have it. Don't have to worry about it. The Ray, actually, my Ray Quas is in grading, I think, or it's at CGC ready to be graded. It'll, it might be another few days, and that might be another week or two. I'm not too sure how fast they are with their Express. There's a big, big top loader. What, what is this? Sorry. Sorry if this is noisy, but there's no other way to get this thing out. This is stupid. Ugh. This card's like triple sleeved. Don't do this. Sometimes more is less. There's a chance that this card has been damaged because of the way it's stored. I don't think I can get it out. Okay. Oh my god. What a joke. This was 90 to 100,000 yen. Somewhere around that. Ugh. Get you out of your prison. 
So, I mean, I was like, that's a nice looking ray. And I'm in person right now. And this is a very nice looking ray. I mean, it's got some edge wear. So it's not perfect. It doesn't have any major bends or creases. That's probably the worst part there. Just up the top of it. See how it's missing a little bit? It's been scraped or something. Yeah, there we go. That's the worst part, but look at that. That is breathtaking. I mean, don't know if I'll grade this. I might just keep it in a card save long term. Maybe eventually I'll throw it in a standard or a bulk submission. Probably not bulk, but I'll throw it somewhere. And in two, three years, I might get a decent return. People will finally be respecting these played or light played gold stars because mint one is way too expensive for most people. So. There. Another gold star, another Espeon. Got this in a CGC9. I think I have two of them. That's cool. Another Sway. That's two first editions, so I probably don't need to buy any more of those. Looks like a seller threw in some packs. So let me just get my scissors and. Oh man, what a. Stacked mail there, this is just it's too much to handle. Okay. I'm just gonna open them all and just put them all face down and we'll do one mega pack. That's pretty cool that they throw in booster packs like this, like obviously you can't expect it and so, I don't know which seller did this, obviously, because everything gets condensed, but, you know what, we'll just open them. We got nothing. There's something shiny. Oh, we got Monkey Man. It was a mega pack. Is that from the shiny V? Yeah, it is. That's cool. I mean, it's a nice little tidbit. Wow, what a cool mail day. All right. Damn. So these I paid a little bit for. I think I paid 20,000 yen each. And after seeing that, I think it was 20,000, 20,000, and 10,000. After seeing that guy's Arcanine, I'm not feeling very good about this. Yeah, that's rough. Crease at the bottom there. That's what happens sometimes from Japan. You get photos that aren't very good. And they hide a lot of things. They use, they don't do it intentionally, but they're using white backgrounds and stuff like that. And you're always hopeful. I get a decent amount of wins, but for every time you win, there's something that gives and you lose. So I'm not going to open this one, but I got a Zapdos. So yeah, got an Entei Gold Star. Damn, look at that centering. That's funny. Really thick boy on the right there. <laughs> Another two gold stars, three gold, four. This one's in this hard case, that's cool. Oh, fuck. That's in this package? Alright. Well, we've got four more gold stars. I might do a video on gold stars. I literally might just show off all the ones I have. Now, this is something I didn't think I was going to get. This is a set of... Evolution play promos. I got this. I sniped this basically. It got listed and I was like the only one looking. Sorry, I'm just gonna show these real quick. Tortured Gold Star, Celebi Gold Star. I bought a lot of Gold Stars. I went Gold Star crazy. So I got these at a pretty good price. Very happy. Jesus. They all seem to be in pretty good condition. That's pretty good. That's a little bit edge red. I think the guy might have kept them unsleeved, but the price I paid, even if they were all folded in half. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. That's me. Just look at that. Just play promos, gold stars, everything. Thank you as usual. Hope you enjoy the mail day. Any questions, as always, you can send it to my Instagram. I'll try and help you out. It's the one minute flips Instagram. Other than that, thank you.